I've been thinking about what makes studying physics at Michigan Tech special. And I like to think of ourselves as a tight-knit community of scholars. We love to work together to figure out how things in the universe work. Everything from the universe itself in scale all the way down to atoms in the nanoscale. I chose physics because uh, it really always interested me. I always wanted to be a scientist. And I felt that to answer the big questions about the universe, which I always wanted to answer, uh, the most realistic way to do that was to go into physics. In physics, you can research pretty much whatever you want because it's all related to physics in some way, shape, or form. It's the science that, like everything else, is built out of in the end. Being able to look at a problem and treat it like an object and turn it around and look at it all these different ways to see what kind of information you can get from it. You can't learn physics by watching. You can only learn it by doing it, by solving the problems, by getting your hands dirty in the lab, by thinking about it, by making mistakes and figuring out where you went wrong and fixing them. You have to do physics. And we really encourage students in this department to be doing physics. And the physics department up here has a really good deal where no matter what, if you want to get into physics, they'll fund you for the summer. And so like that's really tempting because you know, you're going to need money, but then you also get the experience of doing research up here. Uh, a, lot of, a lot of schools, it's really competitive to whether or not you can even get research. And this is more like uh, you know who your professors are and even people you don't have professors. We all know each other. And you might think, oh, your research is really interesting to me. You can just talk to them and they'll, <laughs> they'll invite you to do research with them. Talk to maybe like three or four professors and then ask them what their research is in and see which one interests you. Then just like ask them if you can do research with them. 99% of the time they'll say yes. And if you want to spend the summer here doing research, you can normally talk to Professor Cantrell and he'll help you get funded for that. I have a student working with me this summer who is a first year student. Last, you know, last fall he was a first year student and yeah, it took him a little while to get up and running and understand what all of the stuff in the data means. But now by the end of the summer, he's coming to me with, hey, you know, this is in the data. I think we should look at it this way. And it doesn't, it doesn't always work out that that's exactly what's going on, but now I have a collaborator. Now I have somebody else who is thinking about the data in an independent way. In my classes, we, I try to keep a lot of interaction happening between students. I don't really lecture very much at all. Students are working in groups on activities, uh, talking to each other, interacting with me, interacting with each other. A lot of knowledge uh, happens and is created in those interactions, right? Knowledge isn't something just, that just resides in our head and that we can transfer from one place to another. It gets built when people think out loud and communicate with each other. So we have to keep those lines of communication open between students and between instructors. Unlike other colleges, the class sizes up here, at least for physics, are small. So you get one-on-one -on -one time with a professor and you can really get to know the people in your class because you're always gonna need help. It's nice being able to go and talk to the professor directly like right after class and be like, hey, I missed this part or didn't really understand this part. What do you, is there another way you could put it that it'll help me? Throughout Michigan Tech, I know a lot of professors that are very kind and helpful and you can just walk into their office and they'll let you um, either just talk to them about anything or they'll help you understand what you got wrong in the homework and things like that. My goal is for my students to learn the most that they can and it has been throughout my whole teaching career. Um, and my job is to help them do that learning. For undergraduate classes, uh, they were quite uh, intimidating at first, um, definitely challenging, but the, the professors, in my opinion, do a really good job at explaining concepts. But the workload is not easy at all. It's definitely uh, going to be a challenge for you. But once you're working on a really tough problem for a while, and then you get it, you just get the best feeling in the world. It's like, man, I was able to figure that out. I want to know where this formula comes from. I want to know why it works, not just that it works. And whenever someone says something like that to me, I tell them, physics is a good place for you.